I think we, this will be our second summer at this location. And with the vendors that we have and the pricing that they're offering, I think we're going to blow summer out of the water. Hey guys! <laughs> so um, this is going to be something a little different than you are used to. I've never done one of these, but I thought I would just give it a try and see what y'all think. Um, this is going to be day in the life of my life as a reseller. <laughs> I'm currently standing in my bathroom. I just finished blow drying my hair. I need to go to my antique booth today. And let's see, what else? I'm going to my mom's because my aunt has made homemade yeast rolls and she's gonna give me a few so I have a viewer that is wanting to know how I put my hair up you know when I wear you all see me and I have my hair up and it's like in a little pop knot she wants to know how I do it so I thought in this video I would show how I do it so <laughs> because I don't normally do videos like this <laughs> I don't have anything set up to hold my phone so I've got a couple things piled up so you guys can see <laughs> Okay, so here's what I do. Take and brush my hair out, pull it up on top of my head. And this is a lot of hair. <laughs> Sometimes when I do my hair, I think, oh, should I get my hair cut? Should I just cut it all off? I don't know, what do you guys think? Cut it all off be so much easier to take care of. I don't mind taking care of it, but Man, it's a lot. And when you have long hair, your hair ends up everywhere. Okay, pull it up on top of your head like this. Take your rubber band or hair tie. And I pull it up in a loop like this. And then pull it back over like that. And I pull it really tight so I can loop it one more time. And I end up with this little, this little loop and then here's all this hair hanging in the back. And then I just pull it. This is not the best for your hair. And then as I pull it, I just kind of come out like that. So it pulls little straggler kind of hairs out. And I end up like that. <laughs> Oh, it's burning up in here. Um, I have usually have to, I turn the fan off because I'm filming, but usually I have a fan going. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then this just hangs down in the back. It doesn't look the best, but anyway, it's cooler, and that's how I do it. <laughs> okay, so now that I have my a little bit of my face on, <laughs> you're not interested in seeing me put any makeup on because I don't wear much, so it would be very boring. But anyway, now that I'm done with that, it's off to the garage and I have decided since there's never gonna be a perfect time and my garage is never gonna be look nice or anything like that, I am just gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right, y'all, <laughs> this is my garage. <laughs> this is my old carpet that I had um, in my antique booth. I brought it home when I added my new one and cleaned it up and decided to just use it here in my garage. It doesn't cover the whole floor, but it covers a little bit. And here comes Scott <laughs> with the blow. Oh my gosh, stop. Okay, over here is where I keep my antique booth stuff. Um, this on this bottom shelf, that's really not antique booth stuff. That's my stuff. Well, some of it's antique booth stuff. But I've cleared off some shelves to make room for new inventory. And up here, all the way up, as you can see, uh, having these shelves really, really helps when you have an antique booth um, to be able to store stuff. Uh, storage containers that I bought when I used to, used to sell on Poshmark are now pretty much a waste. Not really. I mean, I'll probably use them in the future. But over here, and then I've just got some more stuff, uh, empty boxes there. Um, my husband's wheelbarrow because he doesn't want to go all the way around to the storage shed to get stuff that we use regularly. Um, this cabinet here, I bought him this for Christmas to uh, put in our storage shed to store his tools in. Um, that is a flower arrangement that I used to have in my kitchen, but since I've already done my kitchen, I no longer need that because the colors don't match. More antique booth stuff, of course, you know, our garbage cans. Over here, um, this is some 
just odds and ends stuff that I need to go through. This right here is all of my eBay stuff, um, pretty much. These two shelves are everything I have listed on eBay. And the rest of the shelves are stuff I need to list. Yeah, talk about a death pile. Over here is where I have my area set up for taking pictures um, for eBay. And I had these tablecloths and I thought, you know what? They don't really fit on either table that I have. So I thought, you know what? I'll just use them as backdrops for my eBay photos. And then these lights here, these Lemo Studio lights, I'm getting ready to get rid of those because they're just too big for out here. If I had a bigger area, they would be great, but I think I'm going to get rid of these. Some stuff that I've been working on, a few things that I thrifted that I haven't showed you guys yet. Um, and then over here is where I film. <laughs> so this is my filming area. Up here is some stuff that I need to go through and get rid of. Uh, that I used to do florals and things like that. There's a saddle arrangement up there and just some stuff I need to go through. This cabinet here is where I keep all of my all of my packing stuff. When I ship, it's not very organized, but it holds a lot of stuff. So as you can see, I've got all those uh, air pockets and um, just some paper and some of my wrapping stuff for glassware. So, and then I bought these carpet squares uh, at Ollie's, and I use those because the floor out here is just concrete and it's kind of cold, so where I'm filming and stuff, a lot of times I'm barefooted. <laughs> I don't like to wear shoes unless I absolutely have to, so this makes it, you know, soft and not as cold underfoot. So, that's it. That's my garage. It's not perfect, but... When you're a reseller, nothing's perfect. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to let you all know, this cart right here, I absolutely love this cart. I have another one in my house that's white. I'm thinking about trading this one out and bringing the white one out here, although the white one doesn't roll very well. This is really great because I can go over to the other side of the garage, put all the stuff that I'm gonna put in my antique booth on this cart and roll it over here to the table to price. So it's really handy and then I also use it to, um, to set my phone or my laptop up to film my videos. So it's really double duty and I love it. I'm gonna start working on some stuff, pricing some stuff for my antique booth and then heading to my antique booth. This is my basket that I use to take my stuff to my antique booth. So, get this filled up here. Here we go. Not taking a whole lot today, but we're ready to go.
Okay guys, here we are. Um, I'm getting ready to move a few things around and add my new stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think Judy's here, so maybe we'll say hello to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't able to get a lot of filming of me rearranging my booth because there was quite a few people in here and people kept walking past and um, so anyway let's go say hi to Judy. Hi Judy. Hey Tammy how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good how are you? Good. So how's things going? Busy day. Busy. Sundays are usually busy for us. So how has spring been so far? Has it been busy or about typical? Each month has been different because there's been things that have come into play, like April was slower than February because we had spring break, we had Easter, and we had Keeneland all running this month. So those really affected sales and people shopping and spending money here instead of else other places. That's good. Yeah. Good, good. What are your projections for the summer? Do you think it's going to be a busy summer? Oh, yes. I think <laughs> we, this will be our second summer at this location. And with the vendors that we have and the pricing that they're offering, I think we're going to blow summer out of the water. Awesome. Just got to be patient and get there. All right. Thanks for spending some time with us. No problem, my number one vendor, Tammy. <laughs> See you later. All righty. Bye. Judy's so funny. I just love her to death. She's so sweet and so helpful. She's, she's, she's an awesome vendor mall, antique mall owner. I love her to death. Now I'm headed to my mom's to get... My yeast rolls. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm at my mom's and the current situation over here is we are having a garage sale in two weeks. <laughs> so my mom has been working out here in the garage uh, getting things priced and some of the stuff that I have brought over here. Some of it's her stuff. Some of it's my sister's stuff. That's the current situation of my mom's garage. <laughs> So yeah, we're still working on everything, but hopefully we will um, get it all priced and ready to go and hopefully we'll have a successful garage sale. Okay, this is quite possibly the most delicious thing ever in the world. This is a yeast roll that my aunt made and I'm getting ready to eat it. So yummy. <laughs> okay, I'm back home now. <laughs> And, uh, ooh. This is the current situation of our landscaping. Uh, nothing. <laughs> we had some bushes in here and they overgrown, gotten really, really big, so we had to take them out. They've been out for a while. We've been trying to get some bushes on the other side of the house moved over here and then just add some more stuff, go buy some more stuff to kind of fill in. Um, so my husband's cur currently working on that, and I'm getting ready to start help helping him with that. And i got a couple other things that I'm going to do tonight also. Um, I have an eBay order that, um, um, had an eBay sale on Saturday, and so um, I'm going to get that boxed up. By the way, if y'all, I don't think I told you this, today is Sunday. Um, you hear the bells? Every Sunday. <laughs> um... I've got to box up an eBay, I've sold a pair of shoes, so I gotta do that, go get that ready, so that way I don't have to worry about that in the morning, it'll already be packaged up and ready to this go. This is the current situation of one of my spare bedrooms. <laughs> yeah, y'all didn't see this part. This is some overflow that needs to go in the garage. But right now I need to pull these shoes that I sold. Oh, I've got stuff in the way, which where are they? These, yeah, it's those. You know, I've got stuff that I really need to get rid of. I've got jewelry that I need to that I need to uh, either get listed or sell it in bulk. <laughs> okay, so these are the shoes that I sold. These are Finn Comfort, made in Germany. I thought these would do better than they did. Um, this was kind of left over from when I sold on Poshmark. I thought these were pretty cool. They were, you know, all leather and made very well and seemed to be very com comfortable. Um, they actually are my size, but I, this is not typically the type of shoe that I wear. 
So they sold for, I believe I sold these for $15. Um, I started them out, they started them pretty high. They were up in the 40s, like 40, I had them listed for like $44.99 or something when I started them out and just kept lowering the price. Then had somebody send me an offer for $15 and I took it because I got these at my local thrift store and only paid $2 for them. So that was pretty good. Not a great profit, but pretty good. So, I guess I'm going to end this vlog, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I make content about reselling. I sell on an antique booth and on eBay, and if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.